Hey guys, Waterfaller41 here, and in today's video, we're going to be installing a screen protector on my new 12.1 inch radio in my 2020 Ram Rebel. So I went ahead and picked up the matte screen protector from a company called the OCD Plug. Uh, so in the kit, you get the protector, you get an alcohol wipe, a little bit of a, uh, a little towel or a little microfiber so you can clean, and then you get this hard plastic card. Not only is this all the information on the product, the company, you get a QR code that shows you the instructions, but also this is what you could use when you are installing the screen protector. So the screen protector comes rolled up, so what I would suggest is definitely open that box and let it sit flat, put some weight on it so, it's, so it gets nice and flat and kind of take some of that memory out of it um, because it's a lot easier to install things like this when they are flat and not trying to roll up on you. So in the kit, like I said, you also get this little squirt bottle and what you should be doing is filling this with a little bit of dish soap and then some water and this is going to be your application fluid. Typically I would use Rapid Tech, but this is on a radio and I really don't want to use anything as um, as complicated as that so I went ahead and just did the old school method with some dish soap here. This should be plenty here. I mixed it up already but basically it's just a drop of dish soap and then some water. Shake it up so you're good to go. So what we're gonna do here now is clean the screen completely. I'll use one of these microfibers with some of my inner clean here and I'll clean the screen with that. Then we'll wipe everything down with isopropyl alcohol and then we're good to go to start installing this. So clean it, isopropyl alcohol, make sure everything's perfectly spotless. And then we're gonna go ahead and spray everything down with this solution here and then install the screen protector in the wet application. So again, we're gonna spray the fluid on there and using the wet application, we could slide it around and make sure it's lined up. Once it's lined up, we're gonna use this wrapped in a microfiber and just slowly push all that liquid out side to side. So we're gonna start in the middle, push it out. So all right, so I went ahead and cleaned everything with InterClean. I absolutely love this stuff, smells good, but it also does a really good job. And it's not too harsh, so you could use it on sensitive surfaces like the screen here. Um, so because we're gonna be doing the wet application, and I say this in every sort of vinyl video that I do, make sure you're cleaning all around, not just the surface that you're installing on, but the surface above and around, because you're gonna spray fluid, you're inevitably gonna get some overspray on here, and you don't want it dripping down with dust inside there. That's how you get air bubbles. So clean everything around here. So now the next thing we're gonna do is wipe the screen down with isopropyl alcohol. So that's gonna be kind of the final prep before we actually spray it with the solution. So isopropyl alcohol, they give you a little alcohol wipe here. We could use this. Um, or if you need something else with a little bit uh, more to it. So 70% isopropyl alcohol is what I would recommend. A little bit more on the screen protector. So the screen that comes on these 12.1s is gloss finish. It looks nice, but the problem is when you start putting fingerprints and everything, and I like to drive with my windows open, those fingerprints end up collecting a bunch of dust and it looks like crap um, within like minutes of having the window open. So the matte screen protector is gonna protect from those fingerprints and then it's gonna be less likely to show up a lot of that dust. Now, yeah, you're getting rid of the gloss effect, which does look nice, but it's like a black car. It looks really nice when it's clean, but the second you take it outside and get it dirty, it looks a little junky. So the matte protector is gonna be a nice uh, add, and it's gonna keep that thing looking consistent and keeping the screen looking nice uh, without any smudge fingerprints, because you know obviously all your apps are down here, you're using that, and as you're touching it, no matter how clean your hands are, it inevitably leaves oils. All right, so isopropyl, everything's wiped down. Every so often I get a little dust in there because I'm moving in and out of the truck here but you wanna make sure you got nothing on there when you go to install the wetting solution. So that's where this guy comes in. You can make sure you keep flipping sides and just push that dust off. It should go without saying, but make sure you have clean hands when you're doing this stuff, especially when you're wrapping things with clear wrap or paint protection film. Uh, clear hands or clean hands, make sure you don't get any of your grease or anything like that on the uh, screen itself. Man, dust keeps sticking. All right, so now the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and open up this cap. Make sure you got your dish detergent and solution everything mixed up. And we're gonna start spraying here and we're just basically gonna make sure there's a nice even layer of liquid on the screen itself. And then we'll peel the matte film off of the backing and install. So let me get the camera set up and then we can kind of do this kind of a play by play or you know real time. All right, let's just get those last few dust particles off of there. And some of that liquid that you spray when you um, when you go to spray the application fluid, it'll take it'll carry some of that stuff out. All right, so we're good to go. Let's go ahead and give this this guy a practice spray, and we're just gonna don't need to get crazy. So now that we got our screen per, uh, hit with that liquid, we're gonna pull this guy off, throw that away. And we'll just start with installing it. So just throw it. I 
gotta make sure we got a little bit more on there. If it starts to stick like that, you could get a little crazy with the liquid. You want it to slide around. And if it starts to stick a little too much, we could spray the back of this. And we'll do that, and that should help things. Yep, there we go. All right, so now once we have everything lined up where we want it, let's move this out of the way. Now we're gonna take our card here. We got a little microfiber guy. We're gonna wrap it up like that. Now we're gonna start from the inside out. And we're just gonna carefully do this. You're gonna wanna move a little bit to make sure you you're doing it. Oh, relax. Just like all my other vinyl videos, you wanna um, start from the middle out and you wanna start with light pressure and work your way up in terms of pressure. All right, so after you're done squeegeeing what you can of the liquid, that's where it comes in handy to have a microfiber. Just use your finger in there and just push and soak everything up. It's going to take a little bit for that solution to dry, um, so don't be too hard on it. Um, but you want to get what you can of that liquid out. And it's matte, so you want to be careful focusing on one area because you don't want basically want to polish that up. And then you're going to have a bubble or two in there. That's just kind of what happens when you use soap. Um, give it a few days, some heat, and it'll eventually work its way out. A lot of this better vinyl does that. All right, so that is how you install the screen protector. You can see it's kind of a nice matte finish on there. It gives it a nice clean look. Like I said, it's going to show less of the fingerprints like the glossy screen would. Uh, but just a quick recap on the installation itself. So you're going to clean the screen first. Then you're going to wipe everything down with isopropyl alcohol. You're going to make your wetting solution. So in this, I did a dash of soap uh, and then some water sprayed on there. Make sure everything is good and evenly covered. If you need to, spray the film itself. Peel the film off, put it on, slide it into place, and start squeegeeing from the center out. Start with light pressure because that screen protector is going to want to move a little bit. Then once you get um, a lot of that film or a lot of that liquid out, you could start to amp up the pressure. Then once you're done with everything, go ahead, wipe all the edges down with your microfiber just to make sure you soak up that extra liquid. And then give it a few days to fully cure because you want that adhesive to activate and you're going to need that wetting solution where whatever's left in there to dry out. But anyway, that's how you install the OCD plug screen protector in a 12.1. These instructions will work for really any screen protector that you install uh, from OCD plug. That's just kind of the way it works. Uh, all these screen protectors, no science to it. So clean, isopropyl alcohol, wet, install. That is it. Appreciate you watching the video. Keep an eye out for some more videos down in the future. But with that said, thank you very much for watching. Bye.